Hello ladies and gentlemen, yesterday the full set list dropped and not only do we have a bunch of new cards but the rest of the leaders got revealed and we currently have a total of 12 leaders. So today we're going to be looking at what I'm expecting to be like the top 5 leaders in set 1. So first off we got Crocodile. This one I'm like, I'm very confident in, like I'm for sure that Crocodile is probably going to be like one, of, like one of even the top 3 leaders. Um, the deck is just very efficient. It's effect to do Don minus four return a cost five or less to the owner's hand is really good because you can play a high cost unit such as um, the seven cost crocodile with banish, return four, and you can get like you can get a lot of value out of that. And blue in general as a color is just really good. The it has more draw power than pretty much any other color. More like defensive capabilities, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I think Blurple Crocodile is also pretty good as well, but if you don't see Blurple Crocodile in the top 5, it's probably because I think that uh, the Blue Crocodile deck is just better than the Blurple one. Next up, we have Zoro. Um, just like in the server in general, like it was just a general consensus that Zoro is like one of, one of the best leaders, like before we got all, all the reveals, and it seems to still be one of the best leaders even post of the reveals its effect to give all of our all of the characters plus 1k power is extremely good and being able to combine that like with the new card uta which grabs a red cost three or less from trash for free and just uh red cards in general that you feel them being able to get plus 1k and attack like end game or be able to clear bodies is just really good it's like a it's a mid-rangey deck that can like lethal out of nowhere. It's just, it's overall a very solid leader. Next up, we have Red Green Law. This one, I'm not too confident in, but like, I, I have faith though. I think red and green as a color combination is just pretty strong in general. Um, it's not as defensively strong as you might see as like blue, blurple, or kaido, but it does have a lot of potential just because the red and the green support have a lot of like good combos um it has some like good uh counter speed like it's not as defensive as blue and blurple but it has like some really solid uh counter speed events that can uh help uh with board control and just maintaining advantage and there's just some really solid green cards like if you look at the seven and eight cost kids um both of them are really sol solid law is very good as well and i think red green just takes green's good cards because in my opinion like the green leader at the moment well uh just green as a color like lacks a lot by itself but when you combine it with red it becomes a lot more viable plus law has a really good effect as well being able to combo laws and stuff like that is very solid being able to call a unit of cost five for two is really good and i currently think law is the deck that uh yamato is best in so i have a lot of faith in this ruler but i'm not too positive if it'll be top five Next up, we have Kaido. This is a deck that I see that doesn't really get talked about a lot. It's probably because Blurple Kaido is also really good, which I'll be getting into. But I think Kaido is really good as well. I think um, defensively, it's just very powerful. Having access to the 10 cost Kaido to pop board is really good. And being able to run the castle to gain Dom back is really good as well. I think starting at 5 life is huge for this deck. Um, just because it makes it like that much harder to kill and the lethals you can get from the dawn minus seven skill is really good as well like you can combo it really well and you can just take games out of nowhere or you can just stall and just do dawn minus seven to gradually waste your opponent's life i think the purple card pool is really solid and kaido itself has a pretty good leader effect that gets really good into end game for the fifth leader we have blurple kaido this is honestly one of the most impressive rulers i've seen so far like i've been most impressed by like crocodile so far but this ruler is also really good as well surprisingly surprising the blue and purple card pool there's some interesting combos recently overheat got revealed which can bounce cards such as like who's who's back to your hand having access to bounce as well of like up to seven costs can help with one of kaido's biggest issues which is needing um the 10 cost kaido in order to deal with anything that's above uh, six costs, so that's pretty interesting as well. And its effect to add a dawn uh, when a character is elited is just very solid as well. Um, it's nice to have a leader that's swinging for 6k every turn, and you're also getting value out of it. And as you get closer and closer to the end of the game, 
uh, it just becomes even stronger. And this deck makes the nine cost Kaido absolutely ridiculous. Like the nine cost with 10k and rush, it just makes it very solid. For honorable mentions, we got Red Green Luffy. Um, I'm not too sure how good this uh, deck is going to be, but I know that combining red and green itself is a pretty good color combination in terms of aggression. It has a pretty nice effect too. It has tap four to resend a supernova straw hat to gain plus 1k power. So the deck is really good at closing out games. I'm just not sure if it has the hand advantage and stuff like that to compete in the meta just yet, but I do think that this deck does have potential. Next we have Odin. Odin, honestly, it looks really good. Like I wanna say it's a top five leader, but I think that the deck needs to get more figured out first. Or I need to see like more out of the deck first. Like the deck is already really solid, but at the moment it seems one dimensional. It seems like it needs uh, more ability to deal with like wider boards or bigger boards. But I do have, I do have high expectations for this deck. I do think that by the end of the set, this can definitely be a top five uh top five leader and its effect just to trash the land of wano to restand to dawn is very good like you can't use it every single turn because you are going to be wasting hand but it's a really solid effect like it can make for some crazy turns out of nowhere for the last honorable leader we have do um i feel the same way about this as i do odin i think that the leader effect is really strong like just imagine swinging 7k every single turn while it's like spawning a body for one that it just sounds solid but i do think that this deck needs to get uh figured out some more and i'm not sure whether it's going to be uh luck based or not we do have quite a good amount of cards that can reset the like the top of the deck for doflamingo but it's still a little sketchy right now i do have faith in this leader i think it has potential to be really good but it's really going to depend on um how like the deck pans out and how it gets built um, this is it for the top five leaders of set one. Uh, as I said earlier, I'm like extremely confident in Crocodile being a really good leader. Like this is easily one of the best uh, leaders I've seen so far. Zoro is really solid as well. It's just being able to give all your characters plus one while having a deck that can build board or consistently add creatures to board is just really solid. And I have a lot of faith in Blurple Kaido as well. It's just a really good deck. I think the Blurple leader could go either way between kaido and crocodile i think it just kind of depends on which strategy is more viable because they're definitely different type of strategies and then as for red green law um as for red green law as well as purple kaido those are ones that i'm like if you're on just because uh in terms of purple kaido i think that blue and blurple might just be better so kaido could potentially be like more phase out of the meta as a control deck and for red green law it just kind of depends on whether it's going to pan out to the meta like i think red green has a lot of potential it's going to be another thing that depends on builds and whether the red green uh card pool is actually good enough to deal with the control decks but that's it for this video uh let me know what your guys thoughts are on what y'all think the top five leaders are this is my top five for the time being and with that i will catch you guys in the next one peace